Hi, this is Pastor John Crane. Welcome to our devotional. I'm taping this devotional here in the church's prayer room at the Evangelistic Center Church on the second floor. Uh, if you've never visited the prayer room, you ought to come in before the services and uh, pray and seek the Lord here. It's really dedicated for that very purpose, and uh, uh, you, it'll really bless you uh, to come in here and take the time to seek the Lord. Uh, this week we're looking at Psalm 78, verse 41. And today's topic is uh, remembering God's power. And it says this, Yes, again and again, they tempted God. They limited the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember His power. You know, this verse is describing how deep the unbelief was rooted in the children of Israel, uh, even though God had done so many amazing things for them. They didn't remember His power. It's hard to fathom. Um, it's hard to imagine how they forgot and didn't remember what God had done for them. When you think about all the plagues that fell on Egypt as God brought them out with his strong hand, as, as you remember the parting of the Red Sea and how they walked through this uh, sea on dry ground and how the Egyptian armies followed them on this ground and God let the waters down and they watched their enemy drown right before their very eyes and many more things that God did for them. You would think that they would never limit God again. You'd think it would be forever imprinted on their hearts and on their minds. But this wasn't the case. You know, when things got difficult, when they began to feel lack and need, they would begin to complain and murmur, and their faith would be lost. This psalm should challenge us to never allow what we're facing to blind us to what God has done for us and what God is able to do for us. You know, it seems that in our nature, uh, we want to rehearse negativity. But I believe it's time for us to rehearse the God things in our life. Like David said in Psalms 34, he goes, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. You know, as we rehearse the goodness of the Lord, uh, faith begins to arise in our hearts. Instead of limiting God, we begin to believe God. Instead of complaining and fear, uh, praise and thanksgiving uh, is birthed in our spirit. You know, when you remember how God met you, how God delivered you, and how God protected you, and how God brought you through, I'll tell you what, praise begins to fill your heart. Uh, you begin to practice praise. You begin to be a worshiper, and you begin to find reasons, even in your darkest hour, to, to remind yourself how God has brought you through and how God will never leave you nor forsake you. You know, this is the place that expectation is birthed. This is the place that miracles happen. Let's not make the same mistake the children of Israel made. We cannot afford to limit God. We cannot afford to let negativity and complain and fill our hearts. But instead, let's rehearse what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. I love that song that we sing. You know, he healed my body. He touched my mind. He saved me just in time. You know, when you begin to rehearse the goodness of the Lord, um, it changes you. It causes you to see that God is in control and God is moving. You know, I challenge you not to forget God's power. No matter what you're going through, rehearse what the Lord has done and watch God move in a fresh way in your life. Well, God bless you. Let me pray. Father, I just thank you, Lord, for all those listening right now. Lord, that you would uh, jog their memory, God, to remember what you've done. Lord, let us not make the mistake the children of Israel did by limiting you and forgetting your power over our lives. I thank you, Lord, that you said you would never leave us nor forsake us. Lord, those who are listening, Lord, renew their faith, renew their passion, and cause praise to arise in their heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you for listening in, and uh, I look forward to worshiping with you, with you this Sunday. Don't forget to invite your family and friends and share your faith as we grow in the Lord together. God bless you.